Hey guys, welcome back. It's been two months. I have uploaded my last video, which did really well for an unboxing video, which is 7k plus views in two months. And that was like really great for me. Also, the comments on that were really great. Some were asking for price, some were asking about if you have bought that device. And so, yeah, thanks for those awesome comments and which was related to the topic. So thanks for that. Also, in this video, we are going to take a look at the MIUI 12 for a Redmi 5 Plus or the Redmi Note 5, which is codenamed as Wins. And you can see the Android version, it says 9. So, of course, it is not the official one because if we get official, we will get it at Oreo 8.1 or the Nougat one because Oreo was also a really uh, shitty update which some of the devices even did not receive because Xiaomi rolled it back due to some reasons. But yeah, here it is our Xiaomi uh, EU MIUI 12 port for a Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus code named as Wins, the single camera variant. So, let's start without wasting any more. Time. So guys, starting with the home screen, everything looks all the same. You can see uh, the theme and all the icons are a little bit changed. And the yeah, the UI redesigning thing is this one, the status bar. You can see the quick settings on the left. And if you quick pull down, you will get the new control center, which is a full iOS copy. You can see uh, they have something similar. The name is similar. I don't know. Control center or config center, something like that. But yeah, it's the same one. You can see the icons and all matching everything can see also the settings icon looking a bit same like iOS so yeah so this is the new settings app and the UI looks really great you can see uh, it is lettering a little bit on my 3GB RAM variant also it is a ported one not official so yeah you will get a little bit amount of minor bugs but it won't affect your daily uh, dose so you can see uh, device ready me 5 plus Android 9 yes it is Android 9 and support so yeah thankfully we have got Android 9 here then we have the Pi Me security patch, so the latest one, and the kernel version is Krypton 3.18 pre -built. Now, if you take a look at the new MIUI 12 skin, you will get a lot of UI options and all that stuff. So you can see we have the always-on display in here because this is a port from a maybe higher device, so or a device with AMOLED screen. So you can see if you turn on the always-on display, here you go with the always-on display. It works really nice, but I recommend you not to use it for a longer time on our LCD devices. And you can see we have some lock screen settings, raise to wake, double tap to wake. Let's see if double tap to wake works on AOD. So it does not work on AOD. For that, you have to disable always on display. And then the double tap to wake will work. Also double tap to turn the screen off. So these functions are working fine. And here we have a, a lock screen power menu access, tap fingerprint sensor to wake. You have to, I think, is in, input a fingerprint for that. Then we have lock screen stuff, lock screen clock format and all that stuff, lock it mode. Then here going to display, we have this brightness level reading mode color scheme. You can change your colors and all that. If you like more warmer, you can change that. Anti-flicker mode, so this is a really good one. You can test if it works, I don't know if it works totally. Then we have a dark mode and yes, the one thing which everyone wants in the newer skins, you can see the dark mode which looks really nice. For now, I'll just revert to the white one the normal one sound and vibration yeah you can see uh ui redesigning thing has been done here but yeah you can just uh, it's just normal stuff notifications yeah the ui has been redesigned in every of the aspect you can see all of the options home screen home screen settings nothing else wallpaper themes you can apply password security all that battery and performance and here also you can see the new animation and the UI is in with an ultra battery saver. It will show you how much battery it will save. The normal battery saver and ultra battery saver like 233 hours, like 10 days. Additional settings, we have full screen display options which I have already enabled and we also get the normal buttons. So that's great. Not now, I already know it. And accessibility and all that stuff. Then we have a battery and, oh sorry. Then we go down below again. Oh, sorry screen time so this is like the digital well-being you can see it look yeah you can see the focus mode is already dashboard daily screen limit now the design of the da digital well-being for the miui is really cool also we have the special features game turbo video toolbox quick uh, reply second space miui lab and light mode and you can choose the light mode if you want, if you want the uh, like lighter UI and maybe it won't cause any slutter here and there. So that was for it. Also one thing, 
the animation for the storage space you can see it's a really nice animation so i really like this so guys one. i really like this control center but if you don't like you want the normal one you just have to go into display and here you into uh, status bar and just disable this uh, use control center oh. and you can see you will get the normal quick settings and notification panel which looks even better if we uh, are just going to categorize devices so this is the miui one but that one looks like true ios copy but the ui looks really well if you like uh, just in case like ios or just coming from ios i don't know like who is going to come from ios to miui so yeah that's it now guys it. talking about this specific port for our wins i guess this is the best miui 12 available for our device right now because this has all the stuff pre-installed play store magisk wiper for fx zen ui keyboard which is an extra and root explorer which is really important if you're going to stuff and mall and stuff so yep that's it uh, i hope you guys have liked this video till now and if you want to follow the installation process which is very easy just follow it from the next clip so yeah let's move towards the installation and for that just power off your device that so so guys your redmi 5 plus or the redmi note 5 should be unlocked and should have a TWRP or any custom recovery installed now i'm using shrp on this one so yeah i have that one and the instructions are all same the options are same you just need to follow the same procedure here even if you're using uh, orange fox uh, TWRP or shrp so let's move into the recovery to press the volume up and home button sorry not the home button power button and let it boot into the so this is my skyhawk recovery it's really cool and minimalist looking recovery so i use this so options are all same wipe advanced wipe you can see so dalvik system uh, data cache and vendor this uh, five one you have to just wipe and after it gets wiped go back to flash and yeah tlp has an install option and orange fox you can gu directly get the files then you can see you will see this uh, downloaded zip and yeah the link will be in the description i guess it's a g drive link so that will be really easy to install or download and install and you can see xiaomi eu 20.5.7 port now the 20.5.8 is the latest beta i guess but yeah this one it's really good for us for our device at least you can see redmi 5 plus aka wins and me security pads so uh, let it install it will take a few minutes like one or two not that much so yeah let's get so guys the installation is successful and you can see it will reboot automatically and let's wait for it to boot it will boot it and then you can set up your device and enjoy miui 12 so that's it and i hope you guys like this video and if you guys have already liked this video that's great and if not you can also press the dislike button that will show me uh, a true review for my video so also the comments section is there for feedback so please post your feedbacks down below and yeah that's it and also guys just one thing i have to say because like last two months i did not upload a single video because of this covid pandemic i could not go to the office but now i have my pc at my home i just bring it to uh, do some work and all that stuff and also editing the videos now so yeah i will be posting regular videos now because there's nothing to do i'm home and there's like totally shit the environment around us like yeah we have to fight it and we can and we will so yeah best of luck to all of you all of the world and please guys stay home and stay safe and bye bye for now i'll meet you with another video till then bye bye and stay safe bye bye